Today we make the lab look better, specifically texturing and covering up spots that are exposed, like this right here, this as well. This could all be flat land right here that we could eventually use. And I got inspired by B00's recent video. He is building Brutalism, and if you didn't know, we are also building Brutalism. That's what this style is right here. But I have no texturing in this, and I didn't realize how much texturing actually helps a build. So on this side, for example, it's pretty flat and bare, so I think we're going to really damage it up on this side. So it's not necessarily going to be a pristine build anymore. And you know what? We might be expanding out this way, so we might even have a new build altogether. But I have a lot of dirt to place. I need to cover most of this up. Okay, that looks a little better, if you ask me. Just left, obviously, the skylights in some areas. Well, I don't think I'm actually going to build down here, but it does make it look better. Okay, anyway, it's time to take down this crane. We don't need this here anymore. Okay, to get things started with our texturing, specifically on this wall. Now, I'm only going to be able to do it on these outer computer things. At least that's what I'm calling these. They're like the main computers for this whole place. I can't do it on that because I made the mistake of making these outside walls the inside walls. So I'm going to just texture these. So for example, maybe right here, just make it look like a little rust spot coming off of this black strip here. And these are the blocks I'm going to be using for this. So we're going to be using acacia wood right here, here, and here. This is where the acacia wood can go. Also going to be using coal. Coal can just put a couple in here like that. Maybe in these spots, put some tough. And then on the outer parts, we're going to put some andesite. Now the thing with texturing in Minecraft up close, it kind of looks awful. You look at it and you're like, what the heck is that? But when you take a step back, kind of like a rust spot or just a spot that's damaged. Okay, and just like that, we have a bunch of spots like this. I guess it's just, you never know, stuff running from the pipes here. I even put it in here, coming down from these pipes. And even on the front, under the one, for example, right up there, just adds a lot of detail. Now that we have this, I am finally going to do something with these giant squares. So we have the village simulation. Problem with this one is, is we have to keep the top open, and then we have this one. And I tell you what, these things are eyesores, they really are. And I think I want all the buildings above my lab to go for that brutalism architecture style, so why not make these one of those? So I'm gonna build this up a little bit, and then we're going to structure it to make it look like a building. And since it is white, I am going to borrow b -O's texturing style when you add in some yellow bits to make it look a little bit older, so let's try that. Okay, as you can see, I've got a bit of an odd shape, but I wanted to make the complete outside before I start adding detail. This one's not going to be too big, but it's way better than that just square I had. So I'm going to put, I'm going to be doing a, or taking a lot of inspiration from this over here. As you know, we got fake windows and stuff, so I'm probably going to do the same thing on this. But like I said, I want to add some age to it, as if it's been sitting here for years, so I'm going to try to mix in some yellow. Working with concrete is hard. It's much easier when you have bone blocks, so I did bring some bone blocks. So I'm going to try to mix in some bone. This is going to be a very creative challenge. I'm going to do my best. Man, that is a fantastic effect. Look at that from here. Oh, I want to do that in all kinds of places. But uh, I finished this right here, as you can see. Boom. I think it turned out all right. There's only one thing I'm iffy about is I used concrete. Concrete is very hard to match other white colors with. Don't believe me? Give it a shot. It's really tough. I think the best looking block to match with white concrete is some of the diorites. As you can see, I have some diorite on there, but these other white blocks are rather hard. But you know what? I'm actually happy with the way this turned out. It's very minimal, like, you know, Brutalism style. So Brutalism doesn't use many windows. Um, it's very industrial looking, and that's what I want to go for here, as you can see. And yes, I, I didn't leave it empty. I mean, there's nothing really inside, but it, I made it look like as if there used to be workspaces up here. Maybe I will turn it into something one day, but as of right now, I'm going to leave it empty. But just look how much better this looks than that random cube like that. Now imagine this one, maybe even bigger. 
I'm not going to work on this one right yet. I have some other ideas. All right, even though I covered all of this up, I'm not going to be building any buildings down here. I'll probably turn this into just some giant courtyard down the road, but I've been scouring this area for a while. I have decided I'm going to get rid of that mountain right there to this level right here. So it's going to be a lot of digging. They're flat because I was eventually a long time ago, I think even in pocket edition, I was going to build up here, but I never did. But I'm imagining another brutalism style building, but I want it right here. I don't want it up there though. So yeah, I guess I got to dig. I'll go faster than that. You down here? It's been a while since I stepped down here. Hello? 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 Gosh, this place is so clogged. Why is no one cleaning this? Can I make it? I'm usually good at this. Ah! Ah! Ooh, nice train. I <laughs> gonna be honest, I completely forgot that I was down here. I've thought so long on where I could have put my only beacon. Yep, here it is, of course. It's a lot of gold hiding away. We need lots and lots of smooth stone. Luckily, I have a bunch of stone, so just gotta smelt it all. But I got this all cleared out, so my grand plan, what is it? So actually, I've been spending a lot of time trying to think of some stuff, and I'm thinking back here in these flattish old school mountains, I want to build a city, but a very specific city. This is going to be a corporate black suit, brutalism style city. It's gonna be dark, somewhat futuristic. It's gonna be somewhat abandoned in some sections, kind of like Pacifica in Cyberpunk, if you know what I'm talking about. It's like an abandoned part of the main city, but it's not all gonna be abandoned. I know I always go for this abandoned theme, but this is for the future. I really gotta plan this out. But right here, I'm going to be building another brutalism style build. And it's going to be similar to that fashion, but more hardcore looking. And I want it to look like there's an accident here. <laughs> I think I want it to be a nuclear power plant or some sort of power plant that maybe something went wrong in. We're still using it, but I want it to look like there's an accident on it. So it's pretty big. I built one in my test world. I gotta get building. Please smelt faster. Okay, I'm pretty stoked to look at this. I just got done making, but I made a tower on top and this tower has gone through an accident. This took me a while. Ooh. Oh yeah, yeah. This took a lot of gradient. That's a bunch of different blocks, but wow. That looks awesome. It looks like it was just blown off the top. Oh, baby, that is awesome. Okay, yeah, I'm happy I went with that. As you can see, I'm still working with the building. It's gonna look much more rough than this. I'm literally just doing the main layout first because that is a challenge within itself too. But if we head up here, ah, uh, there's gonna be snow gathering on it. I don't like that. I started off with smooth stone and then I went up to andesite then a coral block, then some coal, then I did some acacia wood, then deep slate, cobbled deep slate, and then I went into the deep slate tiles. And at the very tippy top, the deep slate tiles kind of go into, uh, uh, they go into some coal blocks, some nether brick fences, and some iron bars, which creates that really cool burned effect. But yeah, I think this is what it's gonna be like so far. I am visioning this is one part of the building, and then right here, we're gonna make a right angle. The building's gonna come a little this way. I have lots of space on the inside, so... Don't know what I'm gonna put in there yet. All right, how we looking? Way better. Oh, yes. Oh yeah, that looks way better. Okay, so I was a little annoyed at the fact I was using so much smooth stone, so I peppered in some smooth stone slabs, because believe it or not, there's not a whole lot of other blocks in the game that are really closely matching smooth stone, except for smooth stone slabs, which just breaks the texture up a little bit. Oh my God, that's gonna be such a cool build. I don't know what I'm gonna do over here. I'm gonna stop there. You know what I just now realized? I didn't mean for this to look like it's gonna be another tower, but it totally could be, and this one could be in its full shape. Only this one, oh, I missed a block. Oh, I missed two. I don't know though. I'll probably just keep it at one. Honestly, I'm quite surprised at how much I've done today. What have we done? We've completely revamped a part of the lab over there. I covered all this with dirt down here. 
added some details into that, and we built this whole thing. I'm pretty satisfied with our progress. I think I am going to stop it there, though. I do need to do some more planning in my creative world. That's a big part of it I never show. Um, it's just part of the process. I can't stop looking at this. This is so cool. I'm going to have to figure out some cool terrain detail. Somehow I'm going to have to try to design a brutalism, industrial, slash modern landscape. And I don't know how I'm going to do that. I gotta say, I gotta say, I, I do like it being grassier finally, but I somewhat miss that very technical look of the layout of the lab. You know what I mean? It just looked very high tech. With it all gone, it feels like I lost a lot out here. So don't be surprised if I end up tearing this up for some reason. Yeah, this doesn't look too bad in RTX either. I'm probably going to make a few skylight holes on this side, so when the sun is rising and in this area, it'll really make the inside look pretty cool. So whatever experiments I do plan on putting in here, I'm probably going to make it like some more secret experiments as if we're using this building for a whole nother purpose now and put one of the village donators in here and make them almost like a crazy scientist. I think that'd be pretty cool, right? I'm just falling in love with the idea of a lot of parts of my lab, like my lab being many years old, having a corporate area, having some bad experiments, having some unethical experiments. I love all this kind of stuff. It's slowly, honestly, taking over my world and I'm okay with it. Okay, uh, starting to add the other part of the building and I'm choosing a pretty odd design pattern. I'm building an RTX too, which is new. I've never actually built an RTX. I always just view it when it's finished. It's kind of interesting. My question is, I don't know if this is gonna be a window or just design pattern. I haven't decided yet. While I'm building this though, I'll go ahead and answer today's comment question of the day, cause why not? From currently crazy, do you think playing the new updates early on the beta ruins the excitement of the update coming out on its release date? Uh, and just in case some of you didn't know, I'm actually not on the beta. Um, I play with experimental features, which you can do too in the base game. It's just, you go to your world settings at the main menu and you click that toggle, experimental features. The beta is actually a completely different version of the game. This one's just a little bit more stable than the beta and it has less features. But that is a good question because when the update does finally come out, I'm not as hyped as I would be if it just got everything at once. But the way they structure it, I'm okay with it because at the end of the update, they add the final thing, so I still get something, you know? For example, we don't have the sniffer yet, we don't have the torch flower or that pod plant, I'm really looking forward to all that. I gotta see what this looks like. But then again, you also gotta think, updates are taking way longer now, way longer than they used to. Like this update, Trails and Tales, is taking like how long? A year, a year and a half? Ooh, whoa, whoa, this actually looks sick whoa oh whoa 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 i'm actually liking this now this is gonna be a big building maybe i could make this just one of those corporate buildings no i don't know because i'm not getting rid of that now i think that looks so cool man i'm getting so many ideas now <laughs> but yeah now the updates are more spread out across i'm completely okay with just experimenting with the updates like i have been yeah, it kind of ruins the experience a little bit, like everything coming at once. But I'd rather do what I'm doing now than watch a bunch of creators play with these updates while I'm just sitting here waiting for it. How many do we got here? One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four. I might want to do six there too, because I might put in windows along here. But, or do I want those to be the windows? Ah, decisions. Actually, what would look really cool if I put sea lanterns behind this. It's turning out pretty cool. I'm gonna take off that top layer of blocks. This is all the building process is for me, by the way. Taking a step back, realizing I don't like a tiny detail, and I come back up and get rid of it, replace it, whatever. <laughs> you know what, though? I'm kind of digging building an RTX. It, like, brings... It gives a whole nother perspective to the build. You know? Where the sun comes in, how it shines on things. Ooh, look at that. Sunset. Oh, I'm gonna have to start playing on it more like this. Well, everyone, I am gonna go ahead and edit it here. Or I could, you know what? No. I'm gonna do some. No, I'm not gonna edit it here. I could totally end. Oh, I got to, yeah. I got things to do. <laughs> I was just gonna continue building with you guys for a little bit. I know a lot of you would like that, but I simply gotta get this video out today. Um, but thank you, everyone, so much for watching. I gotta go to other parts of the lab. I'm needed. 
in some areas, so I'm going to go tend to that. I'll see you in the next episode, though. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.